Welcome back to TacosTheGeeks.com Essential Anime. This is episode 70, and today we're going to be talking about a 1995 anime sci-fi horror, which is entitled Biohunter. As always here at TacosTheGeeks.com, we give you a brief synopsis. So without further ado, here we go. A strange virus known as the Demon Virus attacks the human genetic code, transforming people into monsters with demonic powers. One particular monster is terrorizing the streets of Tokyo, ripping open young women to devour their livers. A famed psychic holds the secrets to the identity and the purpose of this monster. Now it's up to two biologists, self-proclaimed biohunters, Kamada and Koshigawa, to reach the psychic and his beautiful daughter before it's too late. The demon virus is out to control the world. And the reason why Biohunter is... Um, I will put this as an essential anime is it has some really great action it has some really good storytelling here and what I really like about it is not just the dynamic of the relationship or friendship I should say between Komada and Koshigawa but it also has a little heart when it comes to Komada and what he has to deal with with him being a little bit more uh, I won't spoil it but there's something about Komada that he he's dealing with the virus as well. And he has to come to terms and grips with that. Now, I will have to say, folks, to, to the, any parents out there or anyone looking to check this one out, it is R-rated. The, it, the, the first scene in this is kind of funny. The first scene in this is a full-blown sex scene where things happen. And let's just say the girl is not really into it. And she's hungry because he, she's, cause she's actually the monster. And this guy is just completely oblivious to warning signs. And once you see what happens to him and the way he's killed off, it's absolutely kind of hilarious. But what it, what my, what Biohunters does very well is not only is that the animation is gorgeous. This is 1995. This is really going to that era of anime where it's really becoming great. When we had things like Demon City, the Ninja Scrolls, this was all coming out. And it was just at that time where the aesthetics were just dark gritty and even just the story here what makes the story work as well folks is the fact that we do have this kind of mystery element of what is the purpose of the demon virus what is the purpose of this guy or this demon i should say this creature that's going around ripping open young women and eating their livers and it's up to kamada and koshigawa to get to the bottom of it but there's an element into this where kamada has to deal with also feelings for the daughter that he is protecting, um, the 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 priest, the, the psychic's daughter that he's protecting, and he goes through this uh, theme of what is it to be human, even if you're like part demon. And they did a really great job of addressing that and fleshing out the characters. So I'm definitely gonna recommend this one. This is a really top notch sci-fi horror anime. A lot of gore in this one. Some really cool action set pieces here. I had the English dub version of this one. It acting is a hit or a miss. You might actually recognize some voices. There's um, the voice actor who plays Tenchi Muyo is actually one of the leads here. Um, but I would say the female voice actors was a kind of a miss with this one when it comes to the performances. It was a little acting was a little bit wooden at the time. Um, so like not. So if you're really trying to get more of an authentic performance you might want to go to the Japanese dub but the English dub is doable so you definitely check this one out and as always this is Justin from Otakusageeks.com this has been Essential Anime Episode 70 if you like what we do here don't forget to like share subscribe hit that notification bell helps out the algorithm very very much and don't forget to keep it locked here at Otakusageeks.com more Essential Anime on the way I'll catch you on the next one later days